Well, this is my musical mate in life. This is a cello that was made in 1622 in the shop of the Brothers Amati in Cremona, Italy. Cremona is considered the place for string instruments. The one of the brothers that probably made it, Hieronymus, was the father of the most famous member of the Amati family. His name was Niccolo, and Niccolo was the teacher of none other than Antonio Stradivari. So you could say that this cello was made by the grandfather, in a way, of Stradivari. What's kind of a miracle is, it's 1622, you've got a back here which is one piece of poplar, it has no cracks in it. It's a piece of wood that's almost 400 years old, and it's still good. You've got this astonishing carved scroll. The scroll really has no musical purpose. It's purely aesthetic. But you look at the, the lines there. If you put your finger on the edge of it, it's still sharp. And the profile of it, it's absolutely proud and elegant and commanding. When we play with an instrument for a long time, we learn about ourselves by learning about the instrument. I can do things on this instrument that I couldn't do when I got it, which was 1972. I think every cello has its own personality. So it's very important when you're trying to find a cello that you find one that suits who you are. This cello has an astonishing bass quality. It's a very, very deep, low sound. Cello really wasn't much used as anything except for bass lines. Certainly in 1622, there was no solo music for cello. And later on, gradually, that developed as people got interested in the lower sounds. So I've always had an affinity for low sounds, and so when I when I play on it, when I hear a note that's a, that has that kind of deep baritone, deep almost basso kind of sound, that was something that when I played on it, when I first tried it, it spoke to me. Um, what's wonderful about this is though it's so Italian so that when you go to the top of the instrument, uh, has a real Italian voice. It sounds like an Italian singer. And the word we use for that is bel canto. Bel canto singing is uh, the great era of the human voice on the operatic stage all through Verdi and before and after. And while this cello is much older, it's from the same culture. This instrument has to be cared for um, and has always been cared for well. All kinds of things can happen. It is, after all, just a collection of pieces of wood. Um, I'm very, very careful in the wintertime to be sure that it's not in an area that's too dry. So we have to keep humidity in there because it is great stress on the instrument from the strings pushing down. We take the cello with us where we go. So we have our partner with us wherever we play. And we've had a wonderful musical marriage together. Um, it teaches me something every day that I play. And I learn how to persuade it to give me what I want. <laughs> 